Welcome to the Dermatology Lecture Series. Today we are discussing about the disease ichthyosis. Ichthyosis are a heterogeneous group of dermatoses which are characterized by the presence of fish-like scales, and the scaling is generally worse in winter. The ichthyotic disorders are usually inherited but may be acquired. Based on the cause, ichthyosis are classified into congenital and acquired. The congenital ichthyosis are ichthyosis vulgaris, X-linked ichthyosis, lamellar ichthyosis, nonbullous ichthyosiform erythroderma and epidermolytic ichthyosis. Ichthyosis vulgaris and epidermolytic ichthyosis have autosomal dominant inheritance, and X-linked ichthyosis have X-linked recessive inheritance, and lamellar ichthyosis and nonbullous ichthyosiform erythroderma have autosomal recessive inheritance. Causes of acquired ichthyosis are infections like leprosy, drugs like clofazamine, malignancies like lymphoma, endocrine disorders like hypothyroidism, systemic diseases like sarcoidosis and some nutritional deficiencies also causes ichthyosis. Now discuss in detail about each. Ichthyosis vulgaris, it is a type of common ichthyosis, is has autosomal dominant inheritance, with reduced or absent filagrin. Filagrin is a protein responsible for formation of keratin filaments, which is important for the barrier function of skin and its hydration. Speaking about the epidemiology of the disease, it is a common disorder with incidence about 4 in 1000. It is usually seen in the first few years of life, seen equally in both males and females. Now about the clinical features of ichthyosis. It is usually asymptomatic or sometimes present with a mild itching especially on legs usually in winter, and there will be fine white scales on most parts of the body. The character of scale is different on extensors of lower extremities, where we can see large scales which is attached at the center and turned up at the edges, making the skin feel rough. So, in severe cases, patients develop fissuring on shins in winter. There is prominent involvement of extensors of limbs, shin most severely and lower back. The major flexures, popliteal and cubital fossae, axillae and groins are always spared, and face is also usually spared. The other associated features include hyperlinear palms and soles, that means increased creases on palms and soles. And keratosis pallaris, that is keratotic follicular papules on deltoid region and lateral aspect of thighs. Then atopic diathesis with hay fever, asthma and eczema. Complications include fissuring of dry skin in winter and intolerance to degreasing agents like soap and water, and eczematization of dry skin, especially in presence of atopic diathesis. No investigation are needed, and the diagnosis is based on the presence of scales, which are generally fine, but are larger and pasted on the shin, and the characteristic distribution on extensors with conspicuous sparing of major flexures and associated features like hyperlinear palms and soles, keratosis pallaris and atopic diathesis. For the treatment, restrict the use of degreasing agents, and hydrate skin by soaking in a tub of water and gently wiping the skin followed by application of an emollient or moisturizer on wet skin. The emollients used are, true fats like coconut oil, sunflower oil, olive oil etc. Waxes like cetyl alcohol, stearyl alcohol, cetyl esters and beeswax, and mineral oils like liquid paraffin and petrolatum, and macrogols like polyethylene glycol. Then use moisturizers containing humectants like glycerol. Then keratolytic agents are used in severe cases, especially on shins, and in winters. It include. Urea dispensed in water plus glycerol, 
alpha hydroxy acids like lactic acid and glycolic acid, propylene glycol and salicylic acid. For the treatment of complications, like eczematization, we use of combination of topical corticosteroid and antibiotics. Thank you for watching. If you like the video please feel free to like and share, and subscribe to our channel for more lecture videos.